Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean Result and welcome to my Samsung Dex videos. So today, so today we're going to be looking at Octopus and Octopus is basically an app that, that, that allows you to custom map your um, game controller or keyboard controls in games. For instance, a bunch of games on Samsung Dex actually do not have um, very well keyboard and mouse or game control support and well this app allows you to custom map your controls and make them work actually. So. Um, let's go ahead and test out this app and just simply see how it works and yep, so Octopus, I'm going to click on open. So before we continue, I'm running my Samsung Dex on a Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus and yep, let's go full screen. Um, let's make this a bit smaller. And because here's the app, uh, you can see these are all the, all the things I've connected. Um, Lithium technology USB multimedia keyboard. So I'm assuming this is my keyboard, um, Shan Wan Android PC gamepad. So I'm assuming this is my gamepad and Logitech gaming mouse G502. That that's my gaming mouse, and then the Corsair Void wireless gaming dongle. This is my headset, and um, yep, so that all seems to be working perfectly. And here are the uh, seems to be just so it seems to be supported games, but you can also add more games to it. Uh, let's look around a bit. News. Me. Okay, so of course, first you'll have to sign into your account and make an account for yourself. I made an account for myself here, as you can see. And then you guys can also activate the advanced mode. Although I will not be doing this because you need, you need, you need your phone to be rooted or you need to activate it via PC. And as you guys know, I do not use my PC at this moment. Um, my phone is my primary computer. Computer, I use my phone for everything. So I will not be using my uh, a Windows 10 or a Windows computer for this. And um, this also not because I don't want I don't I don't want to root my phone. But you guys can activate advanced shooting mode. Um, it will just simply allow you to play better um, with the mouse. Although I do not need that or want that. Um, at least not if I, if I need to root my phone or use a Windows 10 computer. Let's go to about. Here you guys just find a simple about. And they also have a, a WhatsApp group that you can find and join. That is the link. I'm actually, I'm actually in the WhatsApp group and I do chat there often. Um, let's go back. Okay, let's go ahead and try out the game. I'm going to go ahead and try out um, PUBG Mobile because it's a popular game. So let's go to PUBG Mobile. This game is launching. Let's see how Octopus makes the game perform. As you can see already, it has these um, E and Q, all these um, floating buttons above the game. And that will actually be the control. So if I, so if I press E, it will actually press um, E and, re and register it as a click. And you can click here on this thing. And then it will open up the um, keys for you, for you. And then you can actually change the keys and move it around as you want to. I'm just going to leave it as it is right now. Um... Yep, let's just leave it like that. Actually, I guess we can say reset. Well, I did change it before a bit. Um, so it's now reset. Let's see how it works. Okay. What settings? The okay, settings, you can change the button opacity and the POV speed. Shoot mode shortcut. Um, mode, what's this? I have no idea. Okay. Um, region, I am in Africa. Announcement. Okay, let's collect all my stuff. I haven't, I haven't played the game in a while. Okay. Okay, so they have more servers now. They definitely did not have all of these servers when I last played. Uh, I have a friend request. Okay, let's simply go ahead and I think go to training mode. Um, training. And test out the controls. Okay, so previously, um, the game has built-in keyboard and mouse support. Built-in, you can use um, the, the, the WASD keys to walk around, and space to vault, B to jump, 
Q and E to lean left and right, and then the mouse to move, of course. But that's the only support the game has. And with Octopus, the game has full keyboard and mouse support. Uh, I won't be trying out the game controller, but you can also do it for the game controller. Uh, let's move that over there, I think. Make it a bit smaller. Maybe actually over here. Okay. Okay, so far, so good. Okay, so the keys are a bit um, not aligned correctly. But we can change that. So let's put the space over the space. Um, so what is fire? Uh, wait, let's first go ahead and pick up a gun for us. We don't have a gun yet. Um, I want uh, AK. AK. I also want... Uh, um... M416 and some ammo for it. Okay, let's get some backpack and some stuff here. Oops. Okay, I'm almost done here. Just want to suit up and everything and um, get some scopes here, more ammo. Eight times. Whoa, whoa, okay. Okay, let's change the controls a bit now. Um, what's this? Is this aim? And I think it's aim. Um, I have nothing to shoot. Wait. Let's shoot. Let's see if that works. Um, oh, it's fine. I don't want that. I actually want. Um, let's see. Settings. Nope. Uh, where do I add a button? Okay, yeah, add a button. Um, key. So I want um, control to be aim, and I want. Shift to be. <coughs> Excuse me, that. Okay, now the control should be much, much better. So I can press control now to aim and shift to shoot. I guess as you guys can see, it works perfectly. I can walk around, I can jump. I can, I guess I can't lean yet. Let's fix the lean. Um, this must be Q and this must be E. I'm not sure why there's a, there's a random F button there. Let's remove that. Um, I can do that. Okay, so everything seems seems working fine. Um, okay, so, so now basically my game has full keyboard and mouse support. Let's go find a car and see how that will work. But I'm quite impressed, the game works perfectly so far with the keyboard and mouse, and um, all thanks to Octopus. Come on, where's that guy? It's fine, let's go find a car then. Oh, there's a, there's a Bucky type car here now. Okay, so let's make the F button work for getting into the car, so I can uh, put F here, and then that, that will get into the car. So if, I, so if I press F now, then it gets into the car. Uh, let's let's make if get out of get out of the car as well. Um, okay, so if I press F again, it must exit the car. Okay, so now I can use F to exit and go into the car. Um, let's change the shift a bit. So now I can press shift to boost as well. Okay, so so far the game works perfectly. I can also press tab to um, go into my um, backpack. I guess everything works perfectly so far. Um, of course I can change more stuff if I want to change more stuff. But yeah, everything seems to be working fine. Um, all thanks to Octopus. And yep, you can, you, can, you can also map the controls for a game controller. Although I prefer playing with the keyboard and mouse, of course. Um, let's get out of here. Let's, let's shoot some people. And this works for um, most games. 
actually. I know some, some other people also mapped um, other controls for other, for other games. So you can use other, other games as well and not just PUBG Mobile. Ah, where is he? Can we get them? Can we get them? He seems to be stuck. Let's see if you can take him out. Okay, yes, guys, as you guys can see, it works perfectly. Um, let's exit PUBG Mobile. Um, where's the exit button? Main menu. Yes, guys, this, this, this was just a very, very simple tutorial on how to use um, Octopus for um, playing games on Samsung Dicks and Samsung devices or Android devices. I'm going to exit it now, though. Um, you can play more than just these games, of course. You can add more games. You can, you can click on Add Games and then um select, select from local games or from featured games um let's go to featured games okay we have we have to wait for it to finish loading first um let's make myself bigger okay let's make it smaller again <laughs> but yeah we can select from um my local games and apps or from the featured games i'm assuming all of these featured games are the ones that that, that are officially tested to see if they work um but of course, it works on, on, on all games, um, most games, I'm assuming. All the games I've tried so far, it works. Um, let's see what else is here. But yes, guys, that's basically it. Um, I will have more, more, upcom more upcoming videos where I um, play a bunch of different um, games using, using Octopus. And if a game doesn't have um, any keyboard, mouse control support in the future, I might as well also use um, Octopus in the video. So, yep, for now, thank you for watching, guys. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Wait, wait, wait. We have to still give Octopus a rating. I'm going to give Octopus a four-star rating. I definitely liked it. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, no. Ah, uh, no. Well, it has some English content. Um, is it not? Not all content on the app is in English it needs some improvement on Samsung Dex. So improvement I think it needs is it, it doesn't launch apps automatically or games automatically in, in full screen. We actually have to make the games go full screen ourselves. I wish the app would make games go full screen automatically. For instance, if I use the game launcher to launch to launch games, then games automatically launches in full screen because of this full screen option here. But, but launching games from um, Octopus doesn't launch games um, in full screen automatically. So that's the one um, improvement I definitely do want. Um, um, Games doesn't launch in full screen. And submit. But so far, I really enjoyed um, Octopus. I definitely recommend Octopus if a game doesn't support mouse and keyboard. Um, yeah, for me personally, um, PUBG Mobile is a game that supports keyboard and mouse enough for me. But I, I, I do understand how some people would, would like to have more keyboard and mouse support and as well as, for, as, well as, uh, as, well as a bunch of other games. Um, so yes. Once again, thank you for watching and yeah, but, but before you continue actually, um, you guys are welcome to go ahead and download my apps. I released um, two apps of my own. You can simply, you can simply search for Sean Result. I released two apps, Result Color Picker and Dex Helper. So these apps are not yet, are not yet optimized for Samsung Dex. So I do not recommend using them on Samsung Dex, but I do work on the phone itself. Um, this, is, this is a simple um, color picker for graphic designers and programmers. And this is an app for just a simple app that gives you tips and advice. So use the app on your phone and not Samsung Dex. I have not yet optimized the app for Samsung Dex. And yep, that's basically it. So bye-bye.